Did we get the shot? What's up guys, Nash here. So after driving for about seven or eight hours. Didn't it take us like 12 hours? Anyway, after driving for a very long time, we ended up in a place called Samara. We stayed there for two days. I was doing the other South Africa vlogs day by day, but we just got so much footage from this place that I wanted to make one vlog of the two days. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And yeah. So we made it to our final two days in Africa. And we're gonna learn the art of tracking and try to find some animals, specifically elephants, cheetahs. Big cats, anything like that. There's a lot of very dangerous and cool stuff out here. Yeah. Why are we uh, putting earrings on if we're going into the wilderness? My ear holes are closed, so I'm trying to repress them. No one vlogs in the mirror. I feel like it's always this. Boring. These are our last two days in Africa. As sad as it is, we're trying to make the most of it. We drove 12 hours. So I just found some giraffes. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is absurd. Seeing these animals up close and personal in their habitats was a life-changing experience. Sometimes it can be easy to forget that we share a planet with such beautiful animals, but we must protect them. Poaching is not slowing down at all. And just last week, the last male northern white rhino passed away. If the poaching of these animals continues at the rate it is currently, they will most likely be extinct in our lifetime. get closer because it gets bullied by that female. Wow. <laughs> Made it to the last day of the trip. Very excited, but very sad at the same time. It's a mixed feeling. Uh, it's sunrise and we are tracking some elephants. Yesterday was a huge success. I'm just so happy that places like this exist. It's insane. And I just feel blessed to be able to see this. You said this is our last day. This is speckboom. Speckboom is a South African plant and predominantly found in the Eastern Cape. Acre for acre, speckboom thicket is 10 times more effective than the Amazon rainforest at removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And there's a lot of missions focused on getting this plant all over the world just because of how good it is for the environment. <laughs> What'd you say you could go for? Hmm? Bananas. <laughs> oh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Little lunch break.
Blue's absolutely insane. Yeah. All right, you're good. Let's get the adrenaline going. <laughs> If I had to encourage you to do one thing and one thing only, it would be to travel. Not only is it an amazing opportunity to explore new places and have fun, but it is the easiest and quickest way to learn. Traveling opens your mind in ways you can't imagine. New cultures, new friends, new food, new perspectives, the list goes on and on and on. If you can, try to avoid any industry-driven travel. Most of the time, tourism itself is an inauthentic experience or representation of what a place is really like. And it's much nicer on your wallet to just avoid that whole scene. The sucky part about this is this trip was super last minute. We have to fly back a day before everyone else. We're gonna fly to LA for, what, another 30 hours? And then we'll be home for 12 hours. And then we're gonna get on another plane and go straight to Colorado for a few days to link up with my older brother because he only has one week off all year. I will never ever turn down an opportunity to travel. As amazing as this time was, it's nearing end. I made so many memories, I've made so many friends. Ah, I just feel blessed. So, start saving, travel smart, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did, and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos. Make sure to check out the description. I linked all of my friends on this trip, and they also made videos as well, and took pictures, and all of that good stuff. So make sure to check out the description, and yeah, just enjoy life. Oh, by the way, April 1st, I have a huge surprise, so just be ready, be on your toes, because, yeah, it's gonna be bananas. Oh, bananas.